Good evening. A very warm welcome to the Sheffield Arena, where tonight the Sheffield Steelers are playing in their second home game of the Seconda sponsored Ice Hockey Super League season. Steelers have already faced the Nottingham Panthers three times this year, winning all the games, one in friendly, twice in the BNH Cup group stages. Nottingham Panthers tonight are going to be at full strength, except for they're going to be missing Randall Weber. Ashley Tate makes a return to the lineup after injury. The Sheffield Steelers are going to be at full strength, but it's thought that Rick Brabant is going to take diminished ice time. Because he's had a problem with his knee. Didn't play up in air last weekend. Sheffield Steelers currently sitting pretty at the top of the Seconda Ice Hockey Super League. It's two games, two victories. Just coming off a convincing 5-1 victory against Ed Courtney. Tita Wynn and Tony Hand up in air. And of course, last Saturday, the Sheffield Steelers beat the Cardiff Devils 4-3. Steelers starting lineup tonight. Dale Craigwell between Scott Metcalf, Paul Barado, Adam Smith, Jeff Sebastian on D and between the pipes, Mike Torture. Between the pipes and the Nottingham Panthers, Jordan Willis with Jim Pack, Duncan Patterson, Barry Nykar, Greg Haddon and Jamie Leach. And we're underway. Craigwell gets it around towards Baraldo. Baraldo tries to use his hands. He's nailed by Patterson. They'll have a little bit of push and shove and Baraldo's going to try and win that. Patterson played it away. There's going to be a four-on-two chance. Steelers need to get back in a hurry as Haddon comes forward. Feeds it wide towards Nykar. Nykar fires up high on Torchia. Nice save. And then Dale Craigwell plays it round towards Jeff Sebastian. Ex-Nottingham Panther keeps coming forward, though. Fires into the zone. Steelers are going to go chasing through Metcalf. And now Warren Norris. Norris should be at full strength now. He suffered about food poisoning over the past two or three weeks. Played last weekend, though. And should be back to his full game strength as Dave Strooch intercepts for the Panthers at centre ice. Rims it round and Mike Torchia gives it to Steve Carpenter. Really stepped up the last time these two teams met at Lower Parliament Street. Had his best game so far in a Steelers uniform and he's looking to break out. Tries to go forward. Can't get out of the zone. He can now though. Steve Carpenter tries to get it to Allison. Allison brings it into the zone. Gets it across towards Carpenter. He fires back and that's deflected by Norris. Norris wins again. Comes out in front. Tries to fire. Goes to Carpenter. Norris again. Another good save by Jordan Willis. And then Daryl Lavoie is going to come forward. And there's going to be an offside goal. Steelers nearly caught a little bit short then. Steve Carpenter already deciding though that he's going to jump into the plate as much as he can. Kale Short, deep back in his own zone. Goes to Weaver, Weaver drops off to Ken Simpson. He's got a lot of speed, Simpson. Tries to go around the outside of Levine. Manager, still Simpson on his back and side, breaks out in front. There's gonna be a penalty called, and it's gonna be one on either player. One on Daryl Moxham and one on David Longstaff. The call from referee Murray Hansen. Holding for both of them, it looks like. Time of the penalties is going to be 1 minute and 42 seconds. They are going to go on a scoreboard, so it means we're going to skate a little bit of four on four. Immediately, Simpson tries to win the face-off. Loses out to Garden, though, and then the big E, Levine, plays, tries to play it forward. Can't find his own man, though, and still let's pick it up through Shane McCosh. McCosh gets it to Weaver. Weaver, oh, that was intercepted by Garden, and then Steelers might torch it, clears as far as Simpson. Ken Simpson just moving around. He's got so much speed when he gets those legs going. Now, he might not be the biggest guy on the team, but perhaps one of the fastest. As that one just hit a skate and can't go into the zone. Jamie Leach looks to come forward. Still Leach on that far side. Flips it all the way across. He's not going to be able to find Greg Burke. And then Levine's going to keep it in the zone. Good work by Levine. Oh, and then an even better play by Ken Simpson to win that back. He just gave him a little stick check. And then Shane McCosh is going to try and get it wide. He gets it towards Simpson again. Nice 
Intelligent play from Simpson, getting it to Kale Short. Short's got space to move in. Decides to dump it in. He's going to have Rick Brabant chasing for it. Brabant wins it immediately and plays it down low towards Craigwell. Steelers got a lot of speed out there for this four on four. Breaks back Sebastian, top of the circle, fires. Oh, that's off the plexiglass. I think that took a deflection out in front. And then Haddon, he tries to go forward. Nice play by Sebastian, though, to make the interception. 47 seconds remaining on those two penalties. And Sebastian gets it towards Adam Smith. Smith goes towards Brabant, and Brabant's just sticked. And then Smith's going to come forward again. Two on one, Steelers. He's got Craigwell with him. Smith loses it off his stick, though. And the Steelers are going to have to get back as Haddon decides to play it across. Gets it towards Ryan Gillis. Gillis, oh, taken ever so hard into the boards by Adam Smith. That's a wonderful hit. Fantastic hit just shy of center ice there. As Craigwell regains the puck for the Steelers towards Smith. To Sebastian. Smith's going to have to go chasing on this one again. And then Sebastian gets it back. Steelers have got Scott Metcalf out there now, and he's got the puck. Steelers back to full strength, as are the Panthers, and Longstaff brings the puck in. Still Longstaff tries to fire this one. Nice defensive play by Gillis, though. Just being able to get his stick back there. And then Ashley Tate comes forward. Tate towards Druin. Druin gets hammered into the boards by Carpenter. Carpenter actually goes down to the ice in that, and then Paul Barado wins it. Still Barado tries to go wide. He has to turn a little bit, though. He's got options out there with him. Plays it around the boards towards Metcalf. Metcalf gets it still. Still Metcalf on his back side. Tries to feed it out towards Paul Barado. Barado has it again. Hash marks. Back to the point to Carpenter. Carpenter tries to fire this one. Fired in on goal by Metcalf as he pulled Barado down. Intentional piece of play. Unintentional piece of play. And Druin comes back the other way. Druin tries to fire across. Struz couldn't handle that one, though. And the Steelers, Dennis Vial, nice move in his own zone. He's going to try and clear it. I've not got too many options, though, to be honest. Steelers in the midst of a line change. And they've completed that now. It breaks to Warren Norris. Norris gets it across to Allison. Allison couldn't get it on that extra man, though, towards Stevie Roberts. And Steelers forced back into their own zone. McCosh to Vial. Towards Allison. Allison couldn't handle, though. Garden fires round. McCosh having to go back. No icing called. McCosh looking to set up the play towards Norris. That breaks back, though, for the Panthers, and it's going to be worked in down low by Moxham. Breaks back to Moxham now, and the uh, Steelers come away with Allison. Allison got options, goes towards Norris. Norris, top of the circle, fires this one. Oh, that just banked off a skate, and then Steve Roberts plays it all the way around, and then it's going to be played on again. Lavoie rims it. Kept in by Kale Short, though. He couldn't do anything as Burke picked it up, though. And Allison has it again. He's on a one-on-three situation. Fires a slap shot. Went five hole on Willis, and he's going to collect it again. Is Scott Allison? Steelers have got four checkers in there still, and it's Steve Roberts. Roberts just throws the body, and the puck's going to be still kept in there as Brabant gets it towards Allison. Allison again. He has to turn. Gets it back to Roberts. Roberts fires. He's just stick checked, and that was a good defensive play by Greg Haddon. But Steelers with some great work down low, really cycling the puck very, very well in this first five minutes and 53 seconds. It's the Sheffield Steelers nil, the Panthers nil. My name's Seth Bennett. This is a, a Vision Mix production of the Sheffield Steelers. They're in Seconda Ice Hockey Super League action here at the Sheffield Arena. And Jeff Sebastian's got the puck. He's got a chance to cut to the net. Still Sebastian plays it all the way across the crease. He can't find a Steelers player, though. And then Jim Pack plays it out. Longstaff three games for the Steelers in his own zone. Goes across towards Adam Smith. And then Jason Weaver's hit. It breaks back to Brabant. Brabant's in a one-on-one. -on -one. He's got Longstaff with him. Longstaff gets it, fires. Great save, stacking them up, Jordan Willis. Fantastic save there. And Barry Nykaard's taken Willis and the net off its moorings. But a great high-speed play and a wonderful feather pass by Rick Brabant. Rick Brabant shouldn't really be playing tonight. He's got a, a problem with his knee. But he's out there, and he, he really wants to be a part of the Sheffield Steelers team, as they all do right now. As that's deflected off the state, Dale Craigwell skate at that. And the Sheffield Steelers have taken the lead. And that's the harshest of ways to lose the shutout for Jordan Willis. Steelers Dale Craigwell didn't know too much about that one.
I assume it's going to be credited to him. Thirteen forty-one remaining in the first period. Steelers have taken the lead in this Sheffield and Nottingham local derby. Smith back in his own zone. Fires round towards Barado. Breaks round. Smith got an assist on that last goal. Oh, that took a funny bounce. Strooch has it now. Still Strooch. Tries to go around his man. Adam Smith made a nice play, though. Then breaks back. Burke goes all the way across towards Lavoie, and there's been a penalty called. So holding the stick call, and it's going to go against the Nottingham Panthers. Looks like it's going to be David Strooch taking his first trip of the night to the penalty box. Penalty timed at 6.47, are holding the stick. Ryan Gillis has it for the short-handed Nottingham Panthers, plays the length of the ice, and immediately Jeff Sebastian has to go back, pick it up. Sebastian comes forward with it. Still Sebastian. Oh, that goes poke checked by Drew, and then Carpenter comes back. Gets it towards Brabant. Oh, poor play by the Sheffield Steelers. Getting pinned in their own zone. Brabant comes forward again. Still Rick Brabant. Steelers can't break into the zone. Good defense by the Nottingham Panthers. And Steelers struggling a little bit on the power play. The lines have been changed around as well. As Allison gets it towards Carpenter. Carpenter gets it to Roberts. Roberts just loses out of his stick but regains now. And Allison picks it up. Still Scotty Allison. He looks to snap this one. That breaks again. Allison fires. Into the empty net. Ugly, ugly goal, but they all count. And on the power play, Scotty Allison has a couple of cracks. And a honk, honk goes the horn. 12-23 on the power play. Sheffield Steelers have made this. Steelers 2, Panthers 0. Longstaff rims it in as we're going to get the official announcement on that last goal. Weaver wins on the boards. Still, Weaver gets it round. Oh, it breaks back. Longstaff's picked it up as from Weaver's feet. Longstaff still working hard, but Jimmy Pack plays it round. Shane McCosh going to rim it. Jason Weaver's going to try and get there. Garden's in there as well, and Garden's trying to play it away. It does play it away. That's going to be an icing goal. Longstaff has it again, gets it to Weaver. Weaver couldn't one-time that one. The Steelers, Kale Short, just got caught in two mines there. And Levine goes into the boards with Kent Simpson. Nice play by Simpson. Nice check off the boards, and then Weaver couldn't control that, so Barry Nykar has it. Nykar gets run into by Weaver. And Levine tries to play it out. Levine gets it as far as Shane McCosh on the red line. Steelers win it back through Longstaff. Longstaff just plays it around to McCosh. Steelers retaining possession. It's uh, very choppy ice here at the Sheffield Arena today. Last night was a, a Bob Dylan concert, so they've got the air conditioners on, but still the ice isn't great. So that breaks across towards Simpson. He's going to get there ahead of Jamie Leach. 227s meeting together, and then David Longstaff comes in. Leach is going to pick it up, and he gets absolutely hammered by Jason Weaver. That's going to be one of the hits of the season. Big boy Jason, uh, sorry, Jason Weaver, and also big boy Jamie Leach. As Craigwell breaks in, he's got Longstaff. Longstaff tries to one-time it, has to hold on, though, because that was in the air, and he gets a punch to the back of the head from Patterson, and Druin keeps coming forward. Still Druin, he get, tries to go around the outside, fires that one across. The French-Canadian got a lot of skill, PC Druin. 
as Craigwell gets hammered into the boards by Duncan Patterson. And Strooch gets it to Druin. Druin goes forward to Tate, Tate to Gillis. And Carpenter went, looked almost a little bit like he was knee first there. Going for the hip check at centre ice. Breaks to Baraldo. Baraldo comes forward again. Still Baraldo cuts to the outside. Working hard. Goes behind the back of the net. Fires out in front. Breaks this time. Fired off the pipe work. Scott Metcalf and then Jordan Willis hand, hanging on for dear life. As the Sheffield Steelers all go towards the net. The Steelers look like they're really having fun out there tonight. Really skating very hard in this first period. Norris wins the face-off, kept in by Sebastian. That's fired at the net. Immediately, Jordan Willis holds on. And then Gillis gets it. Breaks all the way around towards Garden. And Adam Smith goes in there. Oh, made a bad play there, Adam Smith. Steelers regain, though, through Stevie Roberts. Breaks again to Allison. Allison on his backhand side. Fires oh, all the way across against the grain there on Jordan Willis. And Allison dumped to the floor. I think he was going for a hit, actually. Burke has it for the Nottingham Panthers, looking to show something. Mike Torture, let's hope he's not fallen asleep. He's not been asked to do very much recently. Weaver battling on the boards, wins it, tries to get it forward, only gets it back to the point to Levine, and then Mike Torch is in there. Kale Short does a very good job. Just shepherding Greg Hatton away. 9.30 remaining in this first period. Sheffield Steelers are leading the Nottingham Panthers. Steelers 2, Panthers nil. Goals from Dale Craigwell and Scott Allison. Not being the most beautiful goals you're going to see at the arena this season. But they all count. Breaks back. Fired in by Levine. And David Longstaff's going to go battling on the boards. Just throws a little elbow into the back of the head there. I don't think it was too intentional. Steelers have it again through Weaver. Gets it towards Longstaff. Longstaff going around the outside of Levine. Makes a nice move, Longstaff. He's got Weaver trailing the play. Weaver gets it. Oh, he just hopped over his stick, though. And Nykar's going to come skating forward. He's got Shane McCosh after him. Still Nykar. He's got short ahead of him. Breaks it back. Oh, nice play as well. Comes fired all the way across. McCosh intercepts. Then Rick Brabant plays it out of the zone. Jimmy Pack couldn't keep it in. And he regains it for the Panthers. Center ice goes into the zone. Cuts around the outside. Still Jim Pack. Tries to play it across. Gets it back to Haddon. Nice block by Rick Brabant. And Brabant just fires into the Steelers bench. And Steelers for the first time really having to hold on a little bit there. out to Paul Boraldo to Dale Craigwell Craigwell breaking got so a lot of speed and skill Craigwell plays it around the boards Vial's gonna go chasing breaks to Vial oh, and then he can't handle it and Ashley Tate looks to try and take it away it's fired down the length of the ice that is just about not gonna make it across so Vial has to get back he plays it towards Craigwell Craigwell He's got options, plays it all the way across. Could have been nailed there, but he wasn't. And Baraldo just tries to fire it into the zone. That's hit a couple of sticks. And Dale Craigwell's going to go chasing. As this time, the Panthers fire it down the ice. Baraldo didn't go for it, so there's no icing. He could have probably got that. Steelers went on a line change. Breaks to Metcalf. Metcalf tries to play it across. Simpson picks up. Steelers in the middle of a line change here. So they play it down the ice. This is a bit sloppy, actually. Neither team wanting to take too much of the puck. And this time it's going to be played out by Stevie Carpenter. Forcing Lavoie all the way back. And he plays it forward. Moxham gets it to Garden. Garden going around the outside. Puck's bobbling all over the place, though. And this time he's going to just stop and look at his options. Goes down low towards Burke. Burke's working on the boards. He's not challenged. Now he is. And then Scott Allison. Oh, he gets absolutely hammered there. And this time he plays it forward towards Roberts. Roberts fakes the shot. 
And then Simpson picks it up. Simpson didn't control it close to his body then, though. Nope. Then Jeff Sebastian goes back. Gets it to Adam Smith. Smith to Roberts. Still Roberts to Simpson. Simpson tries to play it down low, and he's taken down to the ice there. Looks like he's got a bit of advertising Horden stuck in his glove. And Jamie Leach comes forward the, for the uh, Panthers team again. And David Longstaff back in his own zone. Nykar takes a bit of a slash from Rick Brabant. And this time Longstaff tries to get it towards Jimmy Pack. Maybe he could... There's Brabant. And the Steelers try and win. Weaver's going to get popped in the head there. I can't believe there wasn't a penalty. And that breaks the Nykar. Nykar can't do too much with it, though. Makosh has it. Makosh looking to come forward. He's got Longstaff. Oh, Longstaff couldn't handle, but PC Druin got a piece of it, so there's going to be no icing call. Rick Brabant's going to go working on the far boards. Brings the puck with him. He does a very good job, Rick Brabant. He's kicking it round towards Longstaff. Longstaff plays it behind the net. Weaver wasn't reading that one, though. And this time, Kale Short keeps it in. There's a holding the stick call, and it's going to go against the Sheffield Steelers and Jason Weaver. So Steelers are going to be short-handed. I didn't see too much of that, so can't really comment on the call. Weaver seemed to go fairly quietly, though. Time of the penalty. 14.04, two minutes for holding the stick. So Panthers on the power play with the big E, Eric Levine. He gets it wide towards David Strooch. Nice move around the outside, but Dale Craigwell makes a great play, and Dennis Vial has absolutely sparked David Strooch. He didn't have the puck, and he's been called. I think Vial anticipated the play there quite... Well, it would have been good if Strooch would have got the puck, because as soon as he received the puck, he would have got absolutely hammered by Vial. So Vial's been given two minutes, and it means the Sheffield Steelers are going to go five on three. Let's hope that Dave Strooch is going to be all right. He's just still kneeling down over at the boards there. Doesn't look too bad. It's Dennis Vial trying to be goaded out of the penalty box by Barry Nykar. And there's going to be more penalties called. This time on Mori Hansen. Mori Hansen goes across and gives Dennis Vial another penalty. But if he's giving Vial a penalty, he should really give Nykar a penalty at this juncture. Dennis Vial. Waiting for the official announcement on this because I can't make head and the tail of it because there's no penalty up on the boards. As Barry Nykar's just mouthing off at the Sheffield Steelers bench. Two-minute two charging penalty. 14-21, Steelers are short-handed now for 1 minute 37. And Jim Pack has the puck. Still Jim Pack, gets it across. Panthers got to try and work this. Pack has it again. He gets it back to the point to Ryan Gillis. Gillis goes down low towards Nykar. Back to Gillis, to Pack. Pack loses it off his stick. Steelers Warren Norris tries to go forcing the play. Pack has to control with his skates. Goes towards Gillis again. Steelers have left two men down low. Nykar back to Gillis. Across towards Pack. Pack. Down low towards Haddon. That breaks in again, and Barry Nykar hammers that one in the back of the net. Jason Weaver's going to come out of the penalty box. Still five on four power play for the Nottingham Panthers. Didn't have too much to do for that. He had to fire it into the back of the net from about three inches. Did that. Time to 15.01. Assisted Haddon and Leach. Heard that a few times before. 
This time Sebastian fires. Lavoie. Got Burke playing one of the points on the power play. And he's got the puck now. Goes wide towards Tate. Ashley Tate gets it to PC Druin. Druin back to Lavoie on the point. That breaks all the way around. This time it's going to be Simpson. Simpson looks to fire down. Lavoie intercepts center ice. Steelers have got another 49 seconds of penalty to kill here. This time it's going to be Mike Torchia playing it out down the length of the ice. Burke plays it wide towards Leach. Leach to Haddon. They've got it back to Lavoie on the point. Scott Allison tips it out of the zone just. And Allison's going to go chasing again. Still Alley. Good play by Scotty Allison. Can't get it all the way down the length of the ice. Another 20 seconds. Druin on this left side. Drops it towards Haddon. Haddon tries to play it across. Weaver tips it. Leach brings it down. Panthers again. They get it Burke. Haddon. Haddon's got a huge shot. Fires that one into the body of Shane McCosh. Then Adam Smith is going to try and fire it out. He does. Clears the length of the ice. Two seconds remaining on the penalty. And Dennis Vial steps out. And immediately Dennis Vial is going to go chasing. He's playing as a forward at the moment on this line. And Rick Brabant. Vial goes straight off. And Paul Barado comes onto the ice as Barry Nykar tries to go forward. Chips it around Kale Short. Breaks to Levine. Good hard work from Nykar. Then fired in. That's going to be not wide by the Sheffield Steelers. And Jamie Leach tries to get it back. Steelers flip it out. Levine keeps it in the zone again. Steelers really holding on a little bit here. That one's fired just wide. It's going to be rim the length of the ice. Steelers are going to be forced to take an icing here. 301 and the Panthers all of a sudden are in the ascendance. Two quick calls on the Sheffield Steelers, man. It was five on three. Panthers scored five on three. Couldn't score five on four. And that man, Barry Nykar, causing yet more problems for the Sheffield Steelers. This time with his stick, putting the puck in the back of the net. Vial has it. Gets it to Carpenter, to Beraldo. Beraldo fires in. Scotty Metcalf's going to go chasing. Jordan Willis has got it. Carpenter with a big hit on Daryl Moxham. Then Rick Brabant with a nasty little slash on Greg Burke. Then Beraldo gets it back towards Vial. And there's an offside call on the Nottingham Panthers. Two thirty-seven remaining in this first period, and the Sheffield Steelers, as it stands right now, would be more than happy to go in with a two-one lead. Having taken a two-nothing lead, and this looked like they were really, really, really cruising. And now they look like they're holding on just for the end of the period. Steve Carpenter with 2.25. Leaves it for Warren Norris. Back to Carpenter. Carpenter dinks it forward again. Jim Pack plays it with his foot. Scott Allison has to hold up. Steelers weren't offside. And Allison's going to go chasing again. He goes against Pack, flips it into the zone, uses his good reach there. Scott Allison. And then Daryl Moxham comes back. Moxham. Not seeing him do too much. He's skating freely now, though. Goes through center ice. Steelers get it back to Allison. Nice little play through the legs by Norris. That one goes across. It was destined for Steve Roberts, but intercepted. And a hand pass by Jimmy Pack means that the faceoff is going to go just inside the Nottingham Panthers zone. Smith goes into the boards with Tate. To Craigwell. Craigwell gets it across towards Longstaff. Little change in the sentiment here with Dale Craigwell playing with Weaver and Longstaff. Longstaff tries to keep that one in. Took a funny bounce off the boards though and wasn't able to handle it. Steelers have to go back with Smith on defense. To Craigwell. He plays it forward with his skate. And the Steelers have to regroup again. Sebastian plays it towards Weaver. Weaver handles, but not very well, as Willis comes out to play it. He's directing traffic, misses the puck altogether, actually. 
And Ryan Gillis, oh, nearly lost that off his stick. Craigwell was in. Steelers, really shallow forechecking. Just sending one man in. They've got Longstaff just chasing, but he's more marking his man there. Longstaff plays it towards Weaver. Weaver's going to break into the zone. He's got Brabant driving the net. This time Weaver gets it back towards Brabant, brings it bound, down from hip height. Couldn't get it on goal. One minute remaining as Tate tries to come forward. Brabant's there tidying up for the Steelers. This time McCosh has it all the way across. That was handled. Interestingly, as Metcalf goes in. This time Barado fires it wide. Nykar has a little go with Scott Metcalf. And Barado takes it back towards his own zone with 30 seconds remaining. Still Barado gets it wide towards Brabant. Brabant lined up by Haddon. And this time it deflects off Nykar. Breaks to Barado, center ice. He goes wide to Metcalf. Metcalf's got Barado driving. Goes down low towards Barado. He tries to flip that one in. And with just 10 seconds remaining, Kale Short goes back. He's going to try and hold it behind his net. He's going to be able to do that. Five seconds. Goes wide. Metcalf winds up this one, fires this one. Ooh. That one just kind of broke through. His Willis's pad at the end of one period. Here at the Sheffield Arena, it's the Sheffield Steelers 2, the Panthers 1, and the Steelers who had control for the first 15 minutes of this game. But a 5-on-3 power play. And a power play goal for Barry Nykar. Timed at 15.01, sort of turning of the tide. The Sheffield Steelers finished the period, and I think they're quite relieved to finish the period. It's the Steelers 2, Panthers 1. And the weight of this ice hockey Super League game here at the Sheffield Arena. It's the Steelers against the Panthers. Steelers leading this one 2-1. to one. Craigwell loses out on that draw and Duncan Patterson, the ex-Bison, just mishandles that a bit. He's got into trouble in his own zone. And Jim Pack played it to Jamie Leach. Haddon, oh, trying to steal in. Great play by Dale Craigwell defensively. And he's hauled down to the ice. No penalty called. It's Craigwell still being hauled down to the ice. Covered the puck. A little confused as to why there was no call. Adam wins the face off again. Steelers look to try and pick it up. Smith's going to go into the corner. Gets hit by Nykar. Gives Nykar one back though. And Barado breaks forward with the puck for the Steelers. Flips it round. And that somehow manages to flip into the, the seating there. Panthers have the puck through Ryan Gillis in their own zone. Gillis. Plays it wide. Strooch isn't going to get there first, and Dennis Vial is going to go fighting for it. Picks it up, icing score. Just 58 seconds gone in this first period. As Dave Struge gets thrown out of the face-off circle, this is Sheffield Steelers 2, Nottingham Panthers 1. Brabant can't win that face-off. And Ryan Gillis plays it round. Short can't keep this one in. It's hit his stick, though, I think. So there's going to be no icing. This time McCosh is back there. He's pressured by Ashley Tate, and McCosh gets it back to Kale Short. He's throwing a three-man forecheck then for a second, the Nottingham Panthers. Steelers not able to deal with the pressure as David Longstaff loses out. PC Drew and tries to go around Kale Short and he does as well. That's a great play. Breaks back to Tate off the little tip from the Steelers goal. He might torture and then Rick Brabant likes to try and skate as he's spun around. Steelers have still got the puck. They play it into the zone. It's going to be a penalty called.
So penalty is going to be timed at 21.27. Against PC Jones, Steelers on the power play, scored once tonight on the power play. And Dale Craigwell playing one of the points on the power play. Let's come all the way back into his own zone. Craigwell turns, sees the ice open in front of him, gives it towards Metcalf. To Brabant, Brabant goes wide, stops, gets it back to Metcalf, nice pass. Metcalf feathers it towards Beraldo and then flips out of the zone by the Panthers. Forcing Shane McCosh back. He's trying to settle that puck down. It's not been too good, the puck tonight. Mainly due to the poor ice surface. Craigwell still in the zone. Getting hacked and chopped by Graham Garden. As this one comes back to Metcalf. He plays it round towards Barado. He's going to try and use his foot speed now. Poor Barado as he's just circling. Brabant just got cross-checked in the face. He's going to get an interference call as Graham Garden just put a stick right up in his face and pushed him away. Brabant's been given a penalty. Well, hold on a second. Looks like they got the wrong man there. If I was the Nottingham Panthers, I'd be going across and perhaps just suggesting that they got the wrong man. That'll probably suit the Sheffield Steelers, though. Rick Brabant's a bit more suited to getting the... A bit more suited to playing four on four. Time at 22-19. Scott Metcalf takes a seat. We go four on four. Weaver long staff for the Allen Carpenter as Weaver hammers pack. And Sheffield Steelers are going to go looking again. Jason Weaver forcing Levine. He's using a heavy four check here. It breaks the long staff. Long staff goes to Vial. Vial gets it back to Carpenter. He has to. Just flip it into the zone. Steelers are offside. Levine gets it out towards Moxon. Driving forward, he's got Levine intercepted by Norris. Norris has it again. Steelers get it to Vial. Vial's got Longstaff with him. Still Dennis Vial is going to fire this one into the body. Longstaff comes around. Oh, all the way across the front of the net. Didn't go in. Maybe that actually pinged off a post there. Couldn't quite see. Longstaff has it again. He's got Vial driving towards the net as he's brought down to the ice. David Longstaff. As this one comes back to the point, Dennis Vial's going to stay on the ice. This time he winds one up. Oh, into the body. Nice slap shot. Dennis Vial, that was lovely. Tough save to make for Jordan Willis. Really tough save to make as he was already falling down and that puck was rising for the whole time. Panthers have just got three seconds to kill on the penalty. To PC Druin. And then they're going to get 52 seconds of power play. Steelers two, Panthers one. Found three minutes 24 of this third period. And the Panthers are back to full strength now as they fire the length of the ice. That should have been an icing call, but Jeff Sebastian's got it. Sebastian plays it forward towards Simpson. Simpson's going to forecheck hard. Good work by Simpson and Allison. They get the puck between them. Simpson just working hard again in the zone. He's a tremendous penalty killer, this guy. And it's because his legs never stop moving the whole time he's out there on the ice. He just keeps going. And this time, Mike Torchier is going to play the puck. He plays it all the way around towards Scott Allison. Allison can't get it past Pack on the point, and Jim Pack gets it across. Breaks again. Nice save by Mike Torchier coming out of his goal. Breaks towards Haddon. Haddon back to Pack on the point. Pack, Nykar pushed down to the ice. Adam Smith doing a good job with him out in front. It's still Adam Smith working as hard as he can. Nykar just getting absolutely pushed around. Hard place to be in front of that net. Breaks back towards Pack. Sheffield Steelers, chance to clear. They didn't manage it. Steelers back to full strength as Haddon fires this one just wide. Scotty Metcalf looks towards the bench. Decides he doesn't want to come. And this time Adam Smith might torture between them, get it towards Sebastian. Sebastian tries to clear. Only fires it into Haddon skates twice. And this time, Steelers get another chance. Good skating by Simpson. And then it's going to be Sebastian. Banks it off the boards towards Allison. Allison, been out there for a long time, gets it to Metcalf. He's on his own pretty much. Goes around the outside. Still Scott Metcalf 
Tries one-handed. Oh, that was great strength from a Sheffield Steelers winger. Breaks back again towards Cale Short. He fires this one out in front. Scott Metcalf stood all over the top of Jordan Willis. And Scott Allison still out there, making a few moves. Still Allison looking to get his second goal of the night. Fires this one. Side netting from Warren Norris. And the Steelers putting the pressure on the Nottingham Panthers now. End of a long shift for them. Lavoie gets it around towards Drew, and Drew's got options out in front. Nice defensive play from Warren Norris, kicking that one away. And then hammers Drew into the boards. Good play by him, and then kicks it around. Lavoie's going to get hit by Short, gets hammered by Kale Short. Lovely body splash into the plexi as this one's fired in from Ashley Tate. Steelers can't quite clear the zone, and Kale Short's then going in hard with Ashley Tate into the boards. Hammers him there. Nice check by Kale Short. Dale Strooch comes away with a puck, though, for the Panthers, and then Mike Torchia just feathers that one. Scott Metcalf's going to go chasing. Metcalf and Norris between them. Norris plays it across towards Roberts. Roberts got two on one. Roberts going to fire this one. Breaks to Metcalf, fires. Goal for the Sheffield Steelers, and Metcalf hammers Levine after the players. He gets hammered into the plexi. But the Steelers, nothing but hard work, pinned in their own zone for about a minute there. Eventually, they got the puck out. The Panthers overcommitted. Roberts went for the tight angle shot. Willis couldn't hold on. And there he was, Scotty Metcalf, cleaning up the dishes out in front, just tips it in. 14.05 remaining in the second period. It's the Sheffield Steelers three, Panthers one. Drives into the zone, gets it towards Weaver. Weaver tries to play across towards Pat. And the Steelers, Rick Brabant goes in very hard on the boards. And Brabant's getting some stick in there from Daryl Moxham. And Garden's working hard. Rick Brabant's got his end up a little bit here. Looks like he might be feeling a bit feisty. Brabant's absolutely flying out there as Carpenter intercepts that one. He loses out, gets it towards Moxham, and Longstaff knocks him off the puck as Burke takes it into the corner. Nice check from the Sheffield Steelers. Jim Pack plays it round. Burke's got it behind the net, tries to play it out in front. Brabant gets it down the ice. It's going to be icing call as Duncan Patterson touches up. Fifteen remaining in this second period. Steelers leading the Panthers, 3-1. My name's Seth Bennett. This is Vision Mix Productions here at all the Sheffield Steelers Ice Hockey Super League games as Mike Torchia just kicks that one away and holds on. Barry Nykar charges in. Chance of Eeyore from the crowd. I think they're directed at Mr. Nykar. Oh, looks like he doesn't really give a... Too much of a care in the world about those. As Craigwell's tossed out the face-off circle. Kent Simpson's going to go in. This time Haddon's going to be chucked out. So Nykar against Simpson. It's little against large. A little size difference here. Physical size against speed. Size wins. Goes out of the zone, though. And Lavoie's back there for the Nottingham Panthers. Tries to flip it through center ice. Steelers Jeff Sebastian gets it towards Simpson. Simpson comes into the zone, goes to Parado. Parado shoots, tight angle. Oh, nice save, Jordan Willis. Smith hammers that one round the boards again. Simpson's checked hard. Then Smith goes into Nykar. I tell you what, I think Smith has had the best check of the season in the B&H Cup so far. When he absolutely tattooed the last time, tattooed Nykar the last time these two teams met. He's absolutely rode him into the boards. I think Nykar knew too much about it. It's Jamie Leach getting caught up in his own zone. He's got mixed up with Lavoie. Steelers with great forechecking. Nearly brace to Barado, and it's going to be Gillis that's got to work hard as Leach put his own team in trouble there. Haddon got options ahead of him, decides to dump it. In fact, he just hits Dale Craigwell. Goes to Barado. Barado loses out, and then it breaks to Craigwell as he goes in hard with Nike up. <laughs> Craigwell just turned him beautifully. Then Adam Smith jumps into the play. Smith trying to burst around the outside, tries to cut back in again. Smith absolutely hammers Strooch into the boards. 
Steelers look really turned on, and this is broken for Barado. Bobbling pup, and it's going to break again towards Norris. Willis is all over the place. Steelers, oh my word, I can't believe they weren't able to put that one home. Icing's going to be called as Bukosh touches up. The Steelers all over the Panthers then, and then Jordan Willis. Well, we're only about three weeks into the season, but it looked like he took his first hold today. He just seems to depart and vacate the goal then. Wow. Scrooge thrown out the face-off circle. Puck's finally dropped and it's broken to a Nottingham Panthers stick and it's Eric Levine. Levine tries to play it in. Breaks off Short's hand towards McCosh. McCosh back to Short. Dangerous pass actually out in front. The Steelers come forward with Norris. Norris cuts towards the outside into the zone now. Plays it towards Allison. Nice pass. Allison turns. He's got Roberts on the back post. Looking for the one-timer. Leaves it for Kale Short. He rims it round. Norris is going to go battling. Short goes in there. Gets it back to Norris. Norris to Allison. Allison fires this one. That was bobbling a little on him. Roberts is out in front. Allison's going to go working with Levine. So is Roberts. PC Druin eventually clears the zone. No icing is going to be called as Kale Short gets back there. Short just having a look. He's got pressure on him from Moxon and Garden. And Brabant takes it. Brabant to McCosh. McCosh got good speed when he wants to use it. This time Brabant's taken down, going through center ice. There's been an offside call. By linesman Matt Falker. Really didn't quite catch that. Fair enough. 10 40 remaining then. Steelers 3, Panthers 1. Brabant in the face off circle. Goes up against Mox and beats him in that draw. Carpenter has it back in his own zone. The ex Nottingham Panther, Solihull Blaze defenseman, recent signing for the Sheffield Steelers in the summer. Has it again to Vial. Vial's going to get hammered by Garden. Just shrugs it off and gives him a little bit of stick. No icing called as Carpenter gets back. Steelers under pressure with this three-man forecheck. Longstaff just walks around, mocks him, and Longstaff skating hard into the zone. Still Longstaff, drops it off for Brabant. Longstaff's found space, Brabant's got the puck. He gives it to Weaver. Weaver breaking around, gets to Longstaff. Longstaff goes back to Vial on the point. Vial was cutting across, and he's going to have to get back in a hurry now. There's going to be no icing, though. Mike Torture just plays it all the way down the boards, finds it at the linesman's legs. The linesman jumped. Panthers get the puck. Steelers in a line change, though, as Burke gets it back to Gillis. Gillis plays down. No icing again as Vial, who again has been out there for a long shift, tries to clear this one, clears the length of the ice. That was, I want a line change. That was the kind of pass Dennis Vial did and promptly skated to the bench. She arrives there. Mike Blazler's there to greet him. Just giving Carpenter and Vial a little bit of advice as they're coming off the ice. It's good to see Mike Blazler. Really looking to tell his defenseman what to do. Good to see him offering an influence on the bench as well. Craigwell wins the draw. Sebastian cuts inside. Oh, that was dangerous. Metcalf, though, gets it across to Barado. That flicks off his stick. Lavoie turns, slaps it down towards Nykar. Nykar leaves it for Levine. He just stick Craigwell as he skated past him. And then Barado picks it up. Barado's going to get hammered by Nykar. He's just cross-checked. Didn't go down to the ISO. Barado gets it round towards Metcalf. Metcalf loses out on this one. He's going to keep battling again, though, as he's caught up with Levine. The Panthers are still in their own zone. Leach trying to clear now. Gets it to Haddon. Haddon comes down, 1-0. Haddon against Torture. Haddon fires wide. Couldn't stretch the time twine on that one as Leach just plays Nykar offside. Nice interplay, though, from the Nottingham Panthers. And Mike Torchia stood up big there.
I really don't think that Torchia got a part of that. Maybe he did, though. Fans seem to be applauding him from behind the net. So. We're stationed just inside the blue line here, so it's quite difficult to see on those straight shots if the, the goalie's managed to get a piece of it or not. 8.48 remaining. Norris against Struge. Brace back to, to Patterson. Across to Pack, and Pack fires round. McCosh is there. He fires in. He gets hit by Druin. Former teammates, of course, down in Bracknell, those two. Then short across to McCosh. McCosh skates forward, flips it in. Steelers are going to get there first through Trent Simpson. Simpson's battling behind the goal with Norris and Allison. Norris plays it round. Allison has it, uses his body and size well there. He's got Simpson behind him. Ali's still working hard. He's tied up by Pack. And the Steelers have to go back through Kale Short to Allison. Short gets it back. To McCosh. McCosh cuts inside Ashley Tate. Still McCosh goes wide towards Norris. Norris has got options. He's going to fire this one. Fires over the top. McCosh keeps it in. Fires round towards Norris again. Simpson working hard on the boards. Oh, great hit by Kale Short, keeps the puck in, and Scott Allison rides Jim Pack into the boards. Pack, he's ever such a strong skater. And this time, it's the Steelers that have to get back in a hurry, as Ashley Tate just goes offside as Longstaff got back with him and falls down to the ice. So there's going to be a face-off just outside the Steelers' zone. Brabant loses out on the draw towards Moxham. Burke hammered into the boards by Longstaff. Nice check, that one. The Steelers played up towards centre ice. Jason Weaver was just hiding in Panthers territory. Then as Carpenter looks to break forward, he's got three Panthers ahead of him. So he just decides to flip it in and let Jason Weaver go and do the work. Weaver gets in there. He's working hard with Lavoie. Burke tries to play it out, just plays it into the skates of Longstaff. Longstaff plays it into the corner. Gets it towards Brabant. Brabant comes looking to wrap around, and that breaks out in front again. And just about, Jordan Willis managed to hang on. Longstaff loses his helmet as he's brought down. Come on, Fired high, Adam Smith brings it down. Hold on to the puck for a little time there. Steelers get it across towards Barado, controlled with his foot. Still Barado, oh, he made the move just outside the zone. Craigwell had gone offside there. So far, the Nottingham Panthers, they've won one and lost one in League play, beating the Belfast Giants, Sheffield Steelers opponents next Saturday night, 5-1. to one, And they lost 4-1 in Cardiff. Currently at fifth place in the Super League as that one's fired in, offside call. Player's going to go again. Steelers sitting pretty at the top currently. The highest scoring team in the Super League with six points. Scored nine goals from their two games, only conceded four. Panthers win the puck through Jim Pack. He seems to be out there every shift now for the Nottingham Panthers. Simpson goes into the boards with Leach and just pushes Leach's face into the plexiglass there. Norris picks it up. Roberts has lost his helmet. And Jeff Sebastian plays it round. Norris is going to leave all the work and then pick it up on the boards here. He's, he's pulled down to the ice, thrown down to the ice, and then has a slash at Barry Nykart. 
Adam Smith goes into Leach. Couldn't bring him down to the ice, though. This time, Smith plays it all the way across the ice. Puck breaks towards Leach. Offside would have been called. And Brabant's got a chance to break. Rick Brabant's got some space to skate, and still Brabant drops it off to Roberts. Roberts fires. That hits the defenseman, though, and the Panthers fire down the length of the ice. Icing will be called as Kettle Short goes back. Touches up. All of a sudden, the play just seems to have gone a bit stop-start. Not quite the fluidity of the first 10 minutes of the first period. Brabant loses out on that draw. Ashley Tate's back there. Nakosh goes in. Nakosh plays it, then takes a hit off Patterson. Goes back to Brabant. Brabant cuts around, trying to go around Tate. Good play, gets it to Longstaff. Longstaff fires into the body. That breaks nearly in the back of the net. Brabant had his arms in the air then for a second. He thought that had gone in. And Drewing comes back the other way. Kale Short plays the puck. Oh, plays it twice. Good play by the Sheffield Steelers. Brabant gets it to Longstaff. Longstaff, Steelers have got a three on two. Goes back to Kosh. McCosh comes in, fires, breaks again. Weaver fires. Oh, Willis. Well, he was lying on his back and somehow he managed to rein that one in. As all of a sudden the Steelers start to come forward again. Four fifty-five remaining. Craigwell out there with Metcalf and Barado, as per usual, gets it back to Carpenter on the point. He's looking to cut in, fires this one. Barado picks it up though on the deflection, looking to make some space. He's hustled out of the zone quite well by the Nottingham Panthers. Daryl Lavoie, Lavoie, sorry. And this time Carpenter's muscled off the puck by Burke as that one comes in. Dennis Vial clears that one from out in front. And then he rims it all the way around the boards. That takes a funny little hop and the Steelers are not going to get there before Eric Levine. And he gets up towards Garden. Burke for the Nottingham Panthers, a former Bracknell B London Knight. And this time Craig, oh, completely faked out Garden there. Garden thought he was going to take the body, but he didn't. Then Vial just walks around Moxon to Metcalf. Metcalf gets a little touch on it, forcing Jordan Willis to play this one. Lavoie is going to fire it around the other way. Steelers' Jeff Sebastian's there. And he gives it to Carpenter. Carpenter back to Sebastian. Didn't leave themselves too much room to manoeuvre there, as Barado couldn't handle that one. And Garden again. Steelers forced into their own zone. Paul Barado's just got all kinds of space at centre ice. Steelers just can't get the puck round as that's deflected by Jamie Leach. Picks it up again. There was no Steelers with him. Comes out again. Haddon fires all the way across the crease. Mike Torture. And this time Barado does get it. And he's just going to go cross corner. Forcing Willis to play. Steelers go on a line change. Allowing Metcalf and Barado to get off. Roberts goes four, checking for the Steelers, and Pack sends it cross ice towards Haddon to Leach. He's got Nykar with him, back to Haddon, fires glove hand. <laughs> Woo! Picks it out the top corner, lovely save. And I tell you what, Mike Torture has got one of the fastest glove hands that I've seen. He gives them the he gives the shoe to the top corner, and he just somehow seems to stretch out his left leg, whip up his left hand, and throw that big catcher out there and bring it down. I don't actually recall any team challenging the catcher of Mike Torture and beating it yet this year. Really don't. Three minutes remaining then as Short plays it round towards Roberts. Pack holds it in well. So strong on the puck, Jim Pack. Not the most physical player in the world, but he just does good things the whole time. As this one breaks around towards Kale Short, the puck's bobbling on him and so he only just managed to get out of the zone with the help of Scott Allison and Tate gets it to Pack. Pack's going to rim this one round. PC Druin's in there, takes it on his backhand side. He's hammered by Kale Short. And then Simpson. Oh, he's got some space to skate in now. There's Kent Simpson. He's looking 
to keep going forward. Still cuts towards the inside. Still Simpson, is he going to go length of the ice? Nearly did indeed. He just fired wide though, and Roberts fires it back towards the centre. Pack intercepts, and Nottingham are going to come back the other way. Struch fires in, kick save. Steelers' Shane McCosh gets it towards Rick Brabant. Brabant's got some options. Three on three, Steelers go forward. Still Brabant looking to fire. Oh, he gets it taken off him by Ryan Gillis. Brabant's going to try and get back, and PC Drew comes back on the right side. Drops it back to Struch. Struch tries to get it across. Controlled by McCosh on his feet. Steelers get it towards David Longstaff. Longstaff and Weaver have got two on one. There's three Panthers coming back. Drop to Weaver. Longstaff's going to keep chasing round. He's still got a puck. He's going to wrap around. No, he goes back to Vial on the point. Vial fires. This is deflected. Vial's going to get there first again. Takes a slash. Still Vial fires. Goes pretty high. <laughs> Saved by Jordan Willis, though. 142 remaining. Mike Blaisdell sending out Warren Norris. He's going to try and take this face off. Seems to be the best Steelers face off winner as it stands at the moment. And he's won this one. Longstaff picks it up. Still snaps this shot in, saved by Willis. This line, rather interestingly, hasn't has a point just yet. They've scored the most frequently this line for the Sheffield Steelers. Longstaff again working hard, comes out, tries to fire, nice blocker save on the ice though by Jordan Willis. And the Panthers fire it down, forcing Carpenter to come back. He's under pressure, so Carpenter cuts back, gets it towards Weaver. Weaver drops it off towards Dennis Vial. Vial's going to rim it. He's going to force Warren Norris round. Norris leaves it for Longstaff. Longstaff's got space. He mishandled that one, though. Wins it back, and then he's hooked down to the ice. Well, that's appalling that there was no call there. He was just hauled down to the ice by Graham Garden. And if Murray Hansen's going to let stuff like that go. This game's going to get really, really very physical as players get fed up and decide to take the rules into their own hands. Weaver. Sends it into the zone. Steelers get there first through Warren Norris. Uses body position well on Jim Pack with 30 seconds left. Pack's working hard. Norris is just going to kick it round. It's got Baraldo in there with him as it breaks again. Jim Pack plays it round, and this time Scott Metcalf plays it round the back of the net. Warren Norris is too tired, though. So he's going to come to the bench. Dale Craigwell steps off. There's going to be an icing call as Sebastian touches up. Just 13 seconds remaining. Panthers break through Haddon, he's got a chance to go 1-0. Oh. Haddon this time fires, save my torture. Sebastian brings it down, fires out of the zone, and at the end of the period, Sebastian goes in hard with Nykaard. Nykaard drags his stick across his face. And Metcalf just comes across, says a few words. Sebi won't have been too impressed with that. End of two periods then, it was a 1-1 one, one period. 1-0 period, should I say. And the Sheffield Steelers have got a 3-1 lead. We'll be back with more come the start of the third. Welcome back. We're ready to start the third and final period here in Sheffield Steelers. Leading this one, it's Vision Mix. Watching the Sheffield Steelers on your behalf. My name's Seth Bennett. We've got Steelers against the Panthers. And Mike Torsia leaves that one. Weaver battles hard on the boards. Loses out and Sebastian has to go back. And then Adam Smith just stops it. This time he tries to flip it clear. Longstaff's going to go battling with Barry Nykar for the puck. And the Steelers have got it. Longstaff back to Sebastian and then it's flipped forward. Pack brings it down. That looked like a high stick to me, but it not called. Weaver to Longstaff. He taps it into the zone. He's going to go chasing with Jim Pack. 
Flips it out in front towards Weaver. He tried to feather that one towards the goal. And it's flipped in by Jamie Leach. And Kale Short has it for the Sheffield Steelers. To Beraldo. Next Boston Bruin plays it forward, looking for an ex San Jose Shark. And Dale Craigwell never found him, though. And the Panthers. Oh, they lose out to Craigwell, centre ice. Craigwell coming forward again. But gets someone checked off his stick and he's going to go into the boards. Could he get there first? Steelers do, and Barado has it in the corner. He's going to flip it round. Kale Short takes it on. He's going to be in almost uncharted territory here as he goes behind the back of the net. Race to Craigwell. Craigwell working hard on the boards. He's got two Panthers with him. Strooch has got the puck now. He gets out to PC Drew, and Steelers got three men back. Three on three breakout for the Panthers as Lavoie drops it off to Druin. Druin again tries to play it across. Strooch, oh, he overhandled that one, really. The Panthers still have it deep in the zone. Steelers trying to clear. Lavoie's going to pick it up, though, just above the hash marks. Gets it inside towards Tate. Steelers struggling a little bit here. Lavoie keeps it in the zone again. Steelers need to forecheck a little as Barado tries to fall of, force Lavoie wide. That's a shot on goal, and it goes into the mask of Mike Torchia. And Mike Torchia has a few words of advice for Mr. Lavoie. Not too happy about the high shot. off in their own zone. Steelers really need to win this and relieve a little bit of pressure as this time Dennis Vial is going to try and bring it away. He was hacking and chopping out in front of Graham Garden. Gets it across towards Norris. Norris, nice move to the inside. Still Norris. Tries to flip it around. He's challenged by Pack and looks to give Pack a few punches actually. Norris can't get Levine and then Allison's going to come and meet Levine. Levine's played that long. Dennis Vial's going to try and get there. Touches up now. Icing's called. Linesman could really do with being a bit faster on the whistle with these icing calls because players like Dennis Vial then, he was going back to touch up the puck. He had a man hot on his heels. And if you don't hear the whistle, you're going to go through with your check. That can cause problems for you. Eric Levine. Looks to bring it forward. He's got Weaver four checking him. Steelers pick it up through Adam Smith on his own blue line. Gets it wide to Longstaff. Longstaff's got Brabant with him. Oh, that's deflected by Jimmy Pack and Haddam picks up. He drops it off to Levine and then Levine hits Longstaff. Longstaff goes down. The Steelers try and clear. Jim Pack's going to keep this one in though. He gets hit by... Jeff Sebastian and then Barry Nykar's working hard in there. It's on the back of the Steelers' net. And Steelers try and clear. Pack keeps it in, though. And Rick Brabant goes into the boards. Nykar goes down. The Steelers try and break. Sebastian can't get it out, and then he eventually does. Steelers under a lot of pressure here. Panthers being very aggressive. The Steelers being quite defensive as Weaver tries to gain the puck again. Steelers go for a line change. And now the Steelers get a chance to break as Dale Craigwell drops it off to Beraldo. Beraldo brings it into the zone. He's going to fire this one. Oh, that was a bullet just wide. But PC Druin's going to pick it up and he gets it to Dave Strooch. Druin and Strooch as Kale Short does a nice job taking his man out of the play. That was PC Druin. And then Shane McCosh tries to clear, takes a funny bounce, and Jason Weaver, who's been out there for an age, just tips it down the ice and goes for a line change. Duncan Patterson goes high. Scott Metcalf intercepts. Drops it off towards Craigwell. Craigwell loses out to Gillis, and then Kale short side is up, but he passes straight to Strooch, and the Panthers are going to go on the offensive again, but Shane McCosh gets there first. He's going to get hammered into the boards if he's not careful. 
Got two Panthers on him, and the puck's still just about moving in there. Dave Stroot and PC Druin. And Ryan Gillis all working hard, and then it bobbles out of the zone. Good work from Baraldo there to get out of the zone. As Ashley Kate Tate just kicks Kale Short's skates away as Short challenged him off the plate. McCosh is going to come forward. Just dumps it in. We get a quick whistle as the puck goes out of play. 15-10 remaining in this third and final period. Burke gets hammered by Carpenter, and Dennis Vial's back there. Fired in, the Steelers are going to get a chance to break out. Roberts is flying down the wing. Roberts picks it up, he's still on side, fires this one just over the top. He's very unlucky with that one. I think he was half expecting there to be a, a whistle for an offside. And the Steelers flip it in again. This time Jordan Willis, he's handled it about four times in the corner, he's under pressure. Allison can't bring it down. Vial reaches in, and then there's going to be a breakout for the Panthers. Steelers are back there. Garden has to circle, though. He gets it across to Jim Pack. Pack fires cross corner. Then Carpenter just feathers it up the boards. He encourages Simpson to go chasing. Garden plays it off the boards towards Pack again. Pack across to Patterson. And this time Haddon turns nicely, but he turns himself offside, unfortunately. Tight one called by the linesman on the far side, Mr. Holsop. Look what our science goes out. Fired round as long staff's getting. Hacked and slashed by Mr. Nykart, and Longstaff's hauled down to the ice. It's time Brabant keeps it in off Haddon. Longstaff's going to go fetch his stick. Thirteen fifty eight remaining. Nykar against Brabant. Nykar's getting the booze of the fans again as he's just started hacking and chopping the Sheffield Steelers forwards. And this time Brabant tries to take it on. And it's going to be a chance for Leach to use his speed to run the outside. Fires this one backhand. Good play by Adam Smith trying to force him wide. And then Leach is in there. Smith's not happy. This time Longstaff's going to chase in. So's Brabant. Forces. Jordan Willis to hold on to it. Steelers leading this one three to one, and this game is getting a little bit chippy. Panthers win the draw in their own zone. Daryl Lavoie tries to clear. He gets it wide towards Ashley Tate. Shorty hammers his man into the boards. And there's going to be a penalty on the Sheffield Steelers. Well, I think that's actually a poor call from Murray Hansen just because of the things that he hasn't called. The penalty time is going to be 46-43. Two minutes on Kale Short for holding. But basically, Hansen's let this game throw, flow. But he's not called an awful lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff which has been dangerous. The Steelers try and clear the zone now, and they do. 
Warren Norris finds the length. Forces Gillis back. Gillis looking to break out for the Nottingham Panthers. Gets it to Tate. Tate looks to fire around. Mike Torch is there, though, and he goes aerial. Oh, just flips it up as high as it's going to go. It's like having a third defenseman out there for you when you're short-handed, Mike Torch here, because he can just pick the puck up, fire it across all the forwards that are coming into the zone. And then Dennis Vial is going to pick this one up in the corner and kill off a few seconds for you. That's what Mike Torchia does, as the Panthers have it now with Ashley Tate. He gets it wide to Druin. Druin back to Gillis. That's tipped in front by Tate. Steelers working hard behind the net. Tate goes to the ice. Strooch is working hard in there. He gets it down low to Tate again, and this one breaks back. Druin really should have done a bit better than that. He even missed the net. And this time the Panthers have got options at the back. It comes back to Lavoie. He loses that one in his skate, so and then Dale Craigwell does a bit of decent penalty killing on him. And this one's kept in by Lavoie again. He goes down to Tate. Back to Lavoie. To Tate. Back again. This one's fired out. Breaks out in front. Steelers need to get a stick on this. As Craigwell fires it to the corner. And this time, Dennis Vial's working hard in there. He's in there with PC Druin. The puck's still... Breaking out now to Strooch. Strooch fires. Nice save again by the Steelers goaltender. And the Steelers are really being forced to cling on for these Nottingham Panthers who are just really pushing forward. Allison's going to go working hard in the boards. Druin has it. And this time, Lavoie fires one after the whistle. And Scott Allison's not happy. And nor Steve Carpenter. And Carpenter's going to let the drums, gloves drop. And everybody's getting involved in there. Carpenter's having a bit of a go with Lavoie. And there's about five players all jumping on top of each other. Carpenter's somewhere at the bottom of that pile. He's separated by about four other players. But this time, Lavoie is being held on to by Scott Allison. And Ashley Tate's holding on to Allison as well. Dennis is holding on to Steve Carpenter. It's all got very bizarre. But it's something the Sheffield Steelers number three had to do, really. Daryl Lavoie was completely frustrated at the fact that he let the puck go out on the power play. So he fired it really, really hard at the net after the whistle. It was quite blatantly after the whistle. He wasn't in the process of shooting when the whistle went. And that's the kind of thing the Steelers have got to do to stand up for their teammates. And it was very, very good to see. Maury Hansman, Hansen, military style then. He's, uh, he's got his notebook out. He's having a, a good look around. He's going to send Allison also to the penalty box. He's sending Tate to the penalty box. I would imagine he'll just try and even up all these calls here. I would hope that's what he's going to do. But most interestingly, we've seen Dennis Vial just standing there, not too, uh, not too interested in, uh, in fighting with anybody just then. But that's Dennis. He knows his job, and he knows when he has to and when he doesn't have to. So we're going to have to wait for the official announcement. There's going to be a face-off deep inside Panthers territory. Eight seconds remaining. By the looks of things, they're two minutes each, all coincidental. That's the only thing I can possibly think. As Haddon's having words. With referee Mori, Mori Hansen, so is Mr. Nyka. And Kale Short standing up in the penalty box, ready to jump out. Got 11.25 left on the game. Steelers are leading this one, three to one. Levine looking to break out as we're going to listen to this official announcement as Jim Pack rims it into the zone as Steelers go back to full strength. It's fired out in front, kick save, comes back to Pack, Pack gets it down low. All the penalties are equal. Haddon. Going to fire this one, does fire it. That's deflected. Fired all the way around the boards. Levine tries to keep it in, and then Brabant's got it. Steelers have got a chance of a two on one. Brabant's getting hooked back, breaks it across towards Weaver. Weaver is going to try and fire this one. He'll be sat Willis down already as that one's deflected. All the penalties were for roughing, as far as we can make out. It's all equal as Jason Weaver is going to try and get this into the zone. Gets it to Longstaff. Longstaff being held up. 
and he just goes straight into Jordan Willis. And Longstaff is not happy at all. And this time Rick Brabant's going to go in there, and he's got Haddon. He's having words with Greg Burke. He's not happy. The Nottingham Panthers aren't happy. The Longstaff went barreling into Jordan Willis. Willis not too averse, having a little scrap himself. Face-off is going to be outside the zone. This game is getting all the more chippy. As Metcalf wanders over to Hansen and has a few words, so does Dale Craigwell. Moxham's listening in as well. Asking for an explanation on something, perhaps just warning him that if he's not careful, he's going to lose control on this game. Somebody needs to tell Mr. Mori. As players are getting frustrated. And Levine gets it wide. He's got it to Garden. Garden's going to fire in cross corner. Kale Short's there. Takes his man out. Torchia just plays it round. And Barado plays it out of the zone. Steelers playing a defensive game now. They're not looking to score a lot more goals. As Moxham has it. Moxham goes down to the ice. He was caught by Kale Short, a little bit off ba balance there. And Shane McCosh is going to be forced. Oh, he's got caught in his own zone, Shane McCosh. And the Steelers have fired it. He's going to give a chance for Metcalf to chase. Willis is going to get there first. Willis is going to just bank it off towards Levine. Levine's going to get hammered. By Scott Metcalf, oh, turned him nicely actually there. And then Barado just comes in and absolutely tattoos him. Levine holds him back. Barado has words with Mr. Levine as well. Sebastian's back there. The Steelers working hard as Norris gets pulled down to the ice. Dave Strooch making moves in the zone. Gets it towards Druin. Druin loses out to Steve Roberts. Oh, and that breaks to Druin behind the net. Poor play by the Sheffield Steelers. That's fired. Nice save, Torture. And this time Simpson's going to get a chance to skate. Steelers go three on one. Simpson's got options. Still, Simpson drops it. Oh, Roberts couldn't control on his skate. It was a, perhaps not the best pass from Kent Simpson. And then Nika fires round. He's kept in by Adam Smith. Simpson. Couldn't get there before Nika. Nika clears the zone. And this time, Ryan Gillis. Fires forward, still has played out. Dave Strooch gets it to Nikar. Nikar goes for the line change. Sebastian touches up. There's going to be an icing call. 8.15 left. Brabant gets tossed out the face-off circle. Looked like a wonky throw there from Matt Falker, to be honest. It looked like it was straight to the Panthers' side of the ice. Haddon. Longstaff's in there with Leach. Absolutely hammers Leach into the boards. Leach goes down to the ice. The Steelers Weaver tries to get towards Brabant. Brabant. Gets it to Weaver. Weaver mishandles zone. Jim Pack plays it forward. Brabant's there again, though. Steelers number 13. Gets it back to Vial. Vial up to Weaver. Weaver's got some time. He gives it off the boards towards Brabant. Two on two, the Steelers come down. Longstaff and Brabant. Longstaff takes it on. Still Longstaff. Bursting around the outside. Gets it out in front. 
This one breaks again, and the Panthers are going to clear through Burke towards Haddon. Haddon gets it forward. Steelers, Carpenter's going to be there. Carpenter plays it down the boards. Steelers get it out of the zone. This time, Longstaff's going to get a chance to skate. He goes round Gillis if he wants to. Decides, oh, and makes a nice move again, but then just gets his stick checked as he tried to pull the trigger on the pass. And the Steelers are looking a little bit tired to me. But they've got another seven minutes and nine seconds to play. And then they've got another match tomorrow night against the Manchester Storm. Craigwell wins the draw this time, gets it wide to Buraldo. He's trying to make space out there. Fires round, Scotty Metcalf is going to go chasing. But Steelers just using a one-man four check, check at the moment. They're at home, they don't need to do anything more. They're already winning this one, three to one. Defensive hockey is the key. Steelers win the draw again. Baraldo's there. He's looking to fly a little bit here. He's got options. He's going to just fire the shot. A good save. Having to crouch into himself there. Jordan Willis comes back, fired in again. That's deflected. Panthers are going to get a chance to come away with it through Moxham. He's got players joining him now. Just decides to fire in. Burke's going to get there first. He goes around. Gale Short. Short brings him down to the ice. Then Moxham tries to take Craigwell high. Steelers still battling for the boards with Scotty on the boards with Scotty Metcalf. Allison looking to... Kale Short looking to take his man into the boards and then Panthers come away. Moxham tries to fire that one just wide towards Garden. Garden hammered into the boards by Metcalf. And then Burke's in there again. Kale Short's all over him. Steelers looking to clear the zone. They've just got one man pulled out of the play, though. Garden rims it round towards Moxham. Moxham needs to be hit here. And Makosh does, but goes down to his knees. Steelers need to win this puck and clear it out of the zone. Garden's still got the puck. Steelers just being held off. Garden's going to fire. That's deflected as it's hit Scott Metcalf, and he fires down the length of the ice. So there's going to be an icing call. Jordan Willis thought about playing the puck. 5.36 left. Smith plays it around the boards, then Roberts just drops it back towards Sebastian to Allison. Allison banks off the boards towards Warren Norris. Norris is going to get there first. She plays it off. Allison's going to use his strength now. Oh, it turns his man beautifully. That man was Lavoie. Allison plays it back off his knees, and then the Sheffield Steelers are going to have to get back and defend. As this time, Levine gets hammered by Allison and gives Allison a little something off the play. This time, Roberts keeps coming forward for the Steelers. Steelers have got a chance, they've got a man over. That man, Sebastian, fired in by Roberts. He keeps going again, the puck's broken out. And Jordan Willis couldn't control that one. Steelers have got it again through Warren Norris. And it's played out of the zone by Ashley Tate. Good work by him. The Steelers are tired. They need to go for a line change. Willis plays it early, though. Gets it to Dave Strooch. He's got Leach ahead of him. He's got Nykar on the off wing. Dennis Vial goes into the corner. He's got Nykar with him. Vial coming forward, still Vial. He goes the aerial route. He's going to ask David Longstaff to go chasing. Longstaff does. He gets it round towards Weaver. Weaver takes the hit from Nyka. And Steelers regain possession to Brabant. Weaver 
Nice breakout pass by the Steelers. Weaver tries to cut to the inside. Showed too much of that to Gillis, though. And the Steelers leave it to Leach. Leach checks himself into the boards, and Carpenter gets the puck to Weaver. Weaver gets it in. Long staff. Ooh, just with a step there, must have been. Fogger called it. Four minutes remaining. Looks like there's a little bit of a problem with the ice there, right in front of the Nottingham Panthers bench. Just firing some water on it. Packing some ice in there, hoping it'll freeze. Four minutes remaining then. Sheffield Steelers looking to maintain their unbeaten home record here in the ice, Seconda Ice Hockey Super League. And they lose the draw, but Kyle Short's going to pick it up. Feathered in by Simpson. Willis goes to play it. Browdo's on the boards. He just sticks a foot in there. And the Steelers keep it in the zone. Moxham's working hard. Plays it behind the net. Duncan Patterson's going to try and get the puck. He gets it forward towards Moxham. Moxham's had a much better game. Best I've seen him play this season. Seems to be a little bit more influential when he's playing as a centreman as opposed to playing on the wing. And so that one's fired out. And Graham Garden's going to go chasing. Steelers fire, looking for that long pass across the ice. In the middle of another line change to Sheffield Steelers. Changing up frequently, that's a good thing. That one's fired all the way across in front of Mike Torchia's goal. And this time Warren Norris is going to try and use his speed. Still Norris looking to cut in. Makes a move. Oh, was well defended by Jim Pack. He's ever such a classy defenseman, this guy. May not play with the most intensity in the world, but he's just so solid when he's out there as he's got it forward to Druin now. Druin rims round. Allison drops it off, but only Ashley Tate's there to pick up. Allison wins it back again for the Steelers and then gets it forward. Norris plays it out of the zone. Levine gets hit by Allison as he plays that one in. Torchia handles it towards Sebastian. Sebastian rims it round. PC Druin's there. Steelers still struggling to clear their zone. They're going to try again through Sebastian. This has turned into a pretty ugly game of ice hockey. Not the most fluid skill game you're ever going to see at the Sheffield Arena this season. Two minutes, 18 remaining then. Steelers leading this one. Steelers three, Panthers one. Carpenter. Makes a few nice moves. Had them blew out there, and then Longstaff's breaking down the wing. Longstaff cuts towards the inside. He gets his stick just held up and then plays it off, off the back of the net. He's trying to get it out in front. He does just about manage that, but then Jamie Leach is there. Longstaff tries to get body position, but Leach brings it away for the Panthers. Vial holds onto it and plays it wide. Longstaff tries to get it forward. Haddon keeps it in the zone, though. And then Longstaff gets a chance to skate with it. He's looking for some support. He gets it towards Weaver. Weaver settles the puck down, plays it back. Longstaff just tips it round Haddon, then plays it back to Brabant. Steelers killing time, and they're doing a good job of it. Two minutes remaining as the Steelers fans begin to applaud. Nottingham Panthers have just got to get the puck back. That's what they've got to do, and they've done that through Jimmy Pack. He gets it to Daryl Moxham. Moxham. Gets it to Levine. Too many men on the ice for the Nottingham Panthers. Not going to be called, though. That was disgusting. And that's a hand pass. That had to be a hand pass. It hit the... Well, Dennis Vial's closed his legs there and won the puck for the Steelers. It's played in hard. 101 remaining. Jordan Willis looking towards the bench. Panthers have given it away again, and Shane McCosh gets it to Kale Short. Panthers can't get the goalie off the ice, which I'm sure they're going to try and do. This time it's going to be fired down by Torchia. Well, if there was no goalie there, that would have been a goal. Steelers doing a good job. Good thinking by Torchia to fire that one quickly. 
Steelers just looking back. They're just filling up the neutral zone. This time Willis is going to go. Shane McCosh is there. Gets it around to Baraldo. Baraldo plays it down the boards. Played in to Druin. Druin looking to drive the net. But he's offside. 21 seconds remaining. Then face-off is going to be outside the zone. Panthers are taking a timeout. Well, I'm not surprised they're going to do that. As the atmosphere in here is pretty good at the Sheffield Arena. Sheffield Steelers took the lead in this one. In the first period, scored by Dale Craigwell. Didn't know too much about it. Deflected off his skate off an Adam Smith shot. Scott Allison put the Steelers 2-0 up on the power plate. Still in the first period. Panthers hit back through Barry Nykar. His goal at 15-01 was on the power plate. And then the Steelers, five minutes and 55 seconds into the second period, Scotty Metcalf assisted Steve Roberts. Even strength it means it's the Steelers 3, Panthers 1. 21 seconds left. And Scott Allison's going to go battling in the corner. Breaks back to Burke on the point. He gets it across the pack. Pack's got to just shoot it. Good save, O'Neill. This time, Norris. Norris going to just bank it off the boards. Brought down by the Sheffield Steelers. Fired in. Oh, four seconds. Is Scott Allison going to get a chance to score? Oh, he fires it. Haddon brings it down. And all that means is the Sheffield Steelers three, the Nottingham Panthers one. Final score here in Sheffield. And the Steelers maintain their unbeaten record in the ice hockey Seconda Super League. Thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget, Vision Mix are covering all the Sheffield Steelers games here at the arena. I've been Seth Bennett. Thanks very much. Final score here in Sheffield, Steelers 3, Panthers 1.